here we are going to learn what is not a vector now that may sound like a rather indirect way of learning something but here i am assuming we have in our mind the common definition of vectors as physical quantities having magnitude as well as direction to do this we will take a step back and look at some everyday quantities like time length mass and volume suppose you are cooking something then the recipe might mention times like preparation time cooking time setting time and if you simply add these numbers you will get the total time required to prepare that dish length can also be added in the same way and so can we add the mass but vectors do not get added in the same manner take the example of a simple vector quantity like displacement suppose we walk 40 steps from point a to point b and then we walk 30 steps in this direction to reach point c then our next net displacement need not be 40 plus 30 equal to 70 but it could be something like 63 steps in this direction in fact it could vary from a minimum of say 10 like this to a maximum of 70 like this so vectors get added in a very special way next we will take a look at one of the important properties of vector addition suppose we start from the same point a but instead of going along this green displacement first and then undergoing this yellow displacement let us switch their order so we first get displaced along this yellow vector walk like this 30 steps and then walk 40 steps in this direction so we have reversed the order of these two displacements instead of green and then yellow we are going yellow and then green but notice we are reaching the same point to summarize if we have two vectors p bar and q bar then we may add them in this order p bar plus q bar or that order q bar plus p bar we get the same result so p bar plus q bar is equal to q bar plus p bar this property is called commutativity next we will take a look at a physical quantity finite rotation it has a magnitude the angle through which we rotate and also a direction the axis about which we rotate it is given by the right hand screw rule we will now give two successive rotations to these two identical boxes let us give the first rotation both have turned through 90 degrees but about two different axes x and z now we will give them the second rotation did you notice that although both bodies were given two identical rotations the results are not the same and that is because these rotations were not given in the same order so we conclude the addition of two rotations is not commutative that is rotation a plus rotation b is not the same as rotation b plus rotation a so though rotation has both magnitude and direction it does not qualify as a vector because it does not follow the law of vector addition so we define vectors as physical quantities that have magnitude direction and which follow the law of vector addition 